Okay, everyone, we are back, and we're going to go do, what did you call this turn right here? That's Carolina Lane. Carolina Lane. Okay. Um, so we are going to do that lane again. We're actually going to try a left this time. And, um, and then we're going to go into Montford into um, developments there. See if it will stop for other Teslas. Okay, I'm pressing the accelerator to get it to go. It should go. I'm pressing the accelerator. Come on. Um, don't go around this car. Don't do it. It's, it's thinking about it. Okay. Once you're done with Montford, then we're going to go to in that UNCA. We're just going to do a whole bunch of... Um, suburbs of Asheville just to get kind of get a baseline performance and so if it does it well there's not much too much point in doing it every version but maybe every few versions we'll come back and do it again and see how it responds and then if it does poorly kind of like um, I would consider the Asheville drive or poor drive disengaged five times then that's something that's advantageous to do every single version if I am able to. It's a 35, 40 minute drive for me to go to Asheville, so it's not the most convenient convenient thing in the world to get to. So I'm letting it do it by itself here. Man, it goes fast. Yeah, I'm slowing it down purposely. Uh, I guess the speed, is the speed limit 30 right here? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, well, that's a weird spot for him to turn around. Okay, so that did what it should be doing, stopping for pedestrians. And these people don't want to go, so we're going to go through. Let's make a left turn here. Street. Does it have a speed limit sign on this road? No. Know. But common sense would say... Oh, common sense would say it uh, should not go 35 miles an hour down that road. Yeah, exactly. In 500 feet, it's like, same for this road. I'm not going to go 25 down this hill for a stop sign. Um, I almost and, and this is a slow pedestrian day for Asheville. Saturday and Friday night would be. Friday night would three really times. be a good test. You can tell when those people walked out into the intersection, the car more aggressively stopped than it would have otherwise. And it's too far back from the line, so I'm gonna actually ease it into the line just to kind of train it. Right here is where it should stop, and it's still going forward. Okay. And now it's a little bit over the line. And we'll see if it turns. It turned on the blinker correctly this time. Now turn left onto Carolina Lane. I'm gonna turn down the speed just to give it every chance it Nope. Where's it gonna do it? Okay, um, that's just uh, it's again it's a routing issue. But it probably the car probably detects the lane up ahead as an actual turn, and it because of the buildings, it probably can't tell this is an actual lane. And that, at least that's my logic guess. Um, yeah, it's kind of a, I mean this is really an edge case. It's a it's kind of an alley, but it's also a road. So the name of this road is Carolina Lane. For anybody that wants to check it out on Google Maps. Um, yeah, I mean, it's very rare you would ever come down this road unless you lived here or picking someone up. But, you know, these these kind of places exist. That's... Now it automatically continue going. So I'm going to just make it go five mile an hour for here because it got really close to those trash cans last time. Yeah, and they're almost sticking out so far that you would have, have to, to get out and move them to yeah. get through. Yeah, exactly. And I'm not sure how a robo taxi would <laughs> do that. Yeah, exactly. I would just have to. I, you can't turn around. It's a one-way road. Yeah, so there's that, no that, room to turn around. So I mean, I, I guess it would just like having the um, agreement that Peter or passengers have to move it for you. But what would that do if you have a handicapped passenger on or a street? passenger isn't in the car yet? Yeah, exactly. All right, so. Here's our turn again. We've got pedestrians going across. Um, 
the building obviously is right on the road. There's a, maybe 30 inches of sidewalk and then maybe 10 inches before the actual cars would be in the lane. So we were actually it's half a car length in the road uh, before the, the B pillar could ever see anything. And I, I would not. Uh, this car's letting us go, so it, it yeah, made it. That, that's kind of crazy. Uh, I would never uh, turn left out of there. Yeah, that we, we honestly got lucky. Go Did we? Wait. Yeah. No, wait, which? Oh, it changed us. So last time I disengaged right here, I was a little bit more confident that I wasn't going to go into the curb. So it, it made it obviously this time. It seems to be fairly aggressive going up this hill from my experience. Um, yeah. It just might be just the way that the hill is. Um, last time there was construction right here, you can see all the platforms but um it, it went through the construction just fine all the stops and everything did that well uh we were going straight so that's it's hard to even tell what yeah see i there was a there was a lane somewhere around here that i it had no lane lines and i couldn't even tell which lane i was supposed to be in the car i think was right um but Either way, it was at anyone's guess to what lane was correct. Uh, so go ahead and reroute it here once we get through this stop sign. Alright, so let's go down. Let's go down here. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so we have an on oncoming car. And not a lot of room. Yeah, and that. It made it, but I think it only because that car gave us a lot of room, which I mean, what you should do, but not everyone does that. In 500 feet, turn left okay, so to I'm mainly Texas adjusting the speed just to be overly cautious. Um, this is not my typical driving situation, so I'm not super familiar. Yeah, I would not go 25 or 30 through here. Uh, I would probably keep it at 15, personally. It's well. Pets, pedestrians, yeah, lots of cars on the road. 20 seems, at least for me. Right, right now, there's not a lot of people around, but yeah. uh, 20 seems appropriate. 25, especially with a 5 offset at 30, no way you would only go 30 in here. Is this a... Oh. Okay. That was a little, a little aggressive. Close. It saw that person immediately started slowing down. It wouldn't, if that person wasn't there, it would not have slowed down as aggressively. Uh, I've noticed that once it sees a person, it's just like, we're going to stop at all costs. <laughs> Which is good. Yeah, that's what we want. Mm. Again, Montford is typically very busy, um, especially in the afternoons on a weekday. This is kind of a, it angled itself. So this is... Well, it has a light, so it doesn't matter. Uh, if you were turning right, this would be one of those blind corners, but it'd have to kind of creep out over the crosswalk there to see. You press the accelerator, you can go. Come on. Okay. There's a white on the left. Turn right onto Cortland Avenue. sees those people and it thinks they're going in the road, but they're not, so I had to press the accelerator to give it a little bit more confidence. This is... Wow, that's sketchy. Okay, well it made it. I did not like how fast it was trying to go in there. I mainly turned down the speed. It's definitely not taking us the most direct route. It's trying to take us the quickest, which would be to take us back out on the main road. And, yeah. I don't know how I can see anything. Yeah, from the right. It's creeping. The yeah, camera. It's creeping. You can see it now. Uh, you're like, halfway in the road. Yeah, on the on the left. I knew no cars were coming on the left, so. It, yeah. It's a fair. Address what is going on here? 
Oh, made that. At least down in here, you're not really worrying about a lot of pedestrians, but. Yeah, I had that. Apparently, um, teeter totters are uh, in the middle of the road, according to that sign. <laughs> Another interesting kind of blind. Okay, so now I can see the road, and you can see from the right. There's no cars coming. I will go. It's creeping. I'm. I'm not doing anything. It should go ahead and go. Yeah, but it's it, a, it's having a hard time seeing this way. I think. Uh, now, now is the car. Now is not when it should be. Yeah. Okay. Now it sees that car from the B pillar on the right. Now I can't even see from the left, so it just needs to go. Once the right is clear. Okay, I'm pressing the accelerator just to get it to go. Come on. Um, so left turns are a work in progress. Uh, it needs to obviously get a lot more confident. I think they are actively training that now. So in the next few updates, we should expect that to improve a reasonable amount, especially with the increased aggressiveness that it will turn out in some of these turns. <laughs> Well, it seems to do a much better job of rerouting itself. It was start, it was already turning right from the previous navigation. We rerouted it and it automatically started to turn left again. It previously would freak out doing that, but now it seems to handle it well. Oh, this is an unprotected left. I haven't had one of these yet. This is a this is one Chuck Cook. Shout out to Chuck Cook. Um, he regularly test one like this. Unfortunately, Asheville doesn't have the traffic. He does. It made it, but there was absolutely zero cars. So Yeah, it would be interesting to see at like 5 o'clock on a Friday afternoon. Yeah. That's, um... I did. Well, um, yeah. And we're gonna see how this does here. It's a little, a little bit aggressive for that. So we're turning up into the UNC Asheville campus. This is too fast for me, so I'm going to slow it down. Yeah, I don't know why I tried to turn the light right blink around there. Very aggressive. 90, there's another 10% bet. Ooh, that was close to the curb. Uh, another 10% better. No, we're gonna take a left until we reground ourselves. They're, True. they're signaling you to go. Oh. <laughs> Should I have my blinkers on? Now that's something I, I have to wonder if they'll ever be able to do, because I don't know that the cameras can see into a car and see someone waving like that. Yeah, that's, that's very true. That's a suit, man. That's a super edge case. It wasn't in full self driving, uh, but I don't, and obviously, it's not going to see that. What I want to do is go into campus. Once we're out of campus, and we're just going to stop on the side of the road somewhere in here, and then that's going to be the end of this drive. Let's kind of see how it does going through a college campus. Not a very big one, but a uh, campus nonetheless. 30 is a bit high for this area. Especially with the speed bumps, yeah. It's slowing down below 20 for all of them, but it's still a. Uh... Yeah, it's narrow slow, residential. It's definitely slowing down for speed bumps. It never, for the short like yellow ones you would see in a parking lot, it doesn't. For these, it does. They can definitely see them. And it didn't read the speed limit sign. It was a 20 sign right there. So I'm gonna change it to 20. Is this a four-way stop? Um. Yeah. I'm having to press the accelerate. Oop. <laughs> Too close to the curb for me. Why is it? Okay, so it's turning <laughs> the left turn signal on for just the continuous part of the road. Um, surprisingly, it hasn't done that very much today. So maybe 9.2 has improved that. 
In previous updates, it would do it all the time. Ooh, that was too quick. We didn't detect that one. No. Right, let's slow down for this one, please. It doesn't see those at it all. It doesn't, yeah, not at all. I think it saw the other ones because they're marked with an arrow. Yeah, and this has the gray that matches the road, so you can't see it. I don't think UNCA is done moving yet. At Appalachian State. Oh, okay, yep, yeah, I had to, um, I'm gonna snapshot that. So remember, um, too fast, way too fast. That was a really high speed hump. Yeah, I'm actually surprised I didn't bomb them out. This is the appropriate speed for that. And it slowed for that person crossing. And you can see it's starting to go into the lines over here because of the person. It gives a lot of room for pedestrians. And yeah, why are we it can't, driving? It in can't the, see the lines. Is why. It's interesting. Though. It doesn't recognize because it's a parking spot. It doesn't recognize parking spots yet that you're not supposed to. Is that a stop sign? No. What is it doing? Nope. <laughs> that was another camera bug. Okay. Yeah, that's really odd. I think once they can do parking lots, once they add that ability, that should never happen. It, it'll see parking spaces be like, hey, we're not supposed to drive over that. Like, most of the time. Obviously, you have the ability to drive over it, but as long as you don't need to, you shouldn't be. We'll go through the roundabout one last time, and that will be the end of this video. Uh, do you have any thoughts about this section, Mike? Yeah, um, definitely need some uh, fixing of the navigation and uh, speed limits because you should not be going so fast in a lot of these residential areas. Um. <laughs> okay, that was obviously really sketch. Um, I'm actually gonna pull up in this parking lot here to do the end of our video, but. Um, so, it obviously has some challenges. I think they need to improve in the spatial awareness of the car, which just got released with version 9. So it's not like, um, and it obviously it's not finished. So they're gonna improve the overall awareness of the car. Like you can see the curve right here, this is, is not very confident. You can see it, can tell where all the roads are in the curves, but it's like, the less solid it is, the more faded it is, the less confident the car is. Like, you can't even tell there's a curb right here. Um, so, by its point of view, it would just go straight. And it's not, it shouldn't do that. Yeah, it definitely should not go straight. <laughs> exactly. And um, it's not changing the lines either. See, as it can tell right here, but it's very faint. It just can't see the curb very well. And um, those issues will get improved, I think, in the next versions um, as they train it and improve the software. But that will definitely have to be um, fixed before you have robo taxis, of course. And as always, I appreciate you watching. Bye.